Dungeons are considered the worst blocks in Minecraft, but I want to change that opinion and try the impossible. With just one, I'm going to drain a 2.8 million block ocean. But how on earth would I do that? It's working. We're making history here. Now that I had a plan, I was slowly starting to chip away and drain this ocean block by block. It wasn't the quickest method, but it was effective. By segregating the water like this, it allows the sponge to drain the correct amount of water without the ocean instantly filling it back up again. I'm probably about 2.7% of the way there. But wait, you see that? That's what we call deep ocean. And this was a problem because I kept... Ugh, I keep drowning. So I needed some way to breathe underwater for at least a few more seconds while still being able to move around. There is one solution I could try. Aha! And now we wait. I'm pretty sure by doing this, I get scoots. And then with scoots, I can make a helmet. And this increases the time I can spend underwater by 10 seconds. So with that, we start draining more and more of this ocean. I have to admit, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. And because of that, it's time I really push the sponge to its limits. We're going to build a version of this thing. It's called an automatic water remover. It works by moving along by itself to replace water with air. However, the setback is that the sponge has to be incorporated into the design so that I can still technically say the sponge is draining the ocean. But how would I do that? Almost all designs include slime, observers, and sticky pistons, and they remove huge chunks at a time, but none include a sponge. Then an idea hit me. Thanks to some complicated Minecraft mechanics, this design looks like any other, but it actually can't work because of the water around the back. Therefore, if I use this sponge... Let's go! Unless there is a solid object stopping it, it will consistently go forwards and remove two rows of water. And because they were automated, I was able to leave it running while building the next one. Look how much quicker this is. At this point, everything seems to be going perfect. That is our first row now done. We have drained an entire 16% of this ocean. But I didn't know that I was about to run into my first of many major design flaws. I'm having a bit of an issue. Let me introduce you to Minecraft Terrain. It's remarkably bumpy and incredibly difficult to maneuver, especially for a water machine that would just completely stop if any block gets in the way of it. And unfortunately, in this ocean I was draining, it was particularly awkward. So I need to find a way to almost like fill in so everything is on the same size. Or like remove these holes. to mean more water, but it will actually speed me up. This would be extremely difficult. Cool. However, I had no other choice. I then discovered another problem while fixing my first issue. What, 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 where are you going, Matt? Where are you going? Bro, what? Did you catch what happened then? The device ended up going through the wall, but that wasn't the problem. The problem was what it stopped on. In this ocean, there is 750,000 seagrass. Whenever my machine would hit this or any other block in its way, it would completely break. I'm not sitting here and breaking every stem of seagrass. I need to think of a new idea. So for now, I decided to set up a row system to allow the water machines to work effectively. Each row has a five block gap and they're extremely long. However, this is cobblestone. Cobblestone takes ages to mine away compared to this block. By using sand, I could place a torch under any stack and destroy all pieces in seconds. And as far as I knew, there wouldn't be any problems for me doing this. So... I honestly could not tell you how much sand we are using in this video. It's got to be well into the thousands. But before I knew it, I had placed all the sand for this entire ocean. This looks insane. I cannot wait to see it when it's done. And I really wanted to find a super cool way to destroy all the seagrass, but I couldn't. So I had to manually break every piece. All seagrass is gone. I've somewhat leveled out the ocean floor a bit more. We're making good progress. 20% done. So I'm now in a single player world because I wanted to look at these islands. The other two shouldn't be an issue, but this one, this one might be a bit of a problem. I think my best bet is probably just to kind of remove the entire thing somehow. I could mine it, but that would take forever. So why don't I... Will this work? Maybe. Am I going to do it anyway? Yes. Run, run, run. Did that work? Hmm. I don't think it worked. Again. I don't know if this is really working as well as I hoped. Thankfully, though, while I've been busy doing that, my water machines have drained even more ocean, and we were now 30% finished. And these machines actually reminded me a lot of the machines Mark Rober and Mr. Beast are using to help remove 30 million pounds of trash out of the ocean. But the only way they'll do that is by you and me donating to help the cause to clean our oceans. To anyone who donates or has donated, thank you. You genuinely are making a difference. 47.7% of this ocean is now done, which equals to around 1.3 million blocks of water that has been drained thanks to this one sponge. And that's been done in 20 three hours. I built more water machines than I can count and currently we have a really good rhythm going. Look at all the sponges conquered already. Despite my progression, I was worried about the potential obstacles coming up later in the video, but this sponge had already broadly outperformed my expectations, so I was trying not to think about that. Especially since it's now time for some fun. We're going to remove all of this sand. Three, two, one. Oh my god, look how quick this is. My inventory is full already. I can't even pick up all the sand. I'll probably be able to complete each row within like 30 minutes. And while I'm doing this, my water machines are still working away as well. This is amazing. Wow, so this is what the ocean floor is looking like at the moment. This is crazy. Imagine what it will look like once everything's drained. This is too good. Something surely has to go wrong soon. We've now been doing this ocean flight 50 hours. I've only got a few rows left to go. But then as I was mid-build of one of my water machines... Eh? 
That was weird. All right, what is going on? Why... Why is the server dying? The server I was using to drain this ocean had just completely died. And would not start back up again. Why has it just gone down then? Maybe their server's been updated? After leaving it for a couple hours, I still couldn't get in. If I could work out how to fix it, that 50 hours that I've spent would be all for nothing. I went as far as to contact the server admin. He thought it must have been too little memory that was causing the crash. So... Right, the server now has double the memory it had before, so it should. Let's go, it's working again. Wait, hold on. Is my entire world just gone? Somehow the world I was playing on and had done all this work on just vanished. I'm beginning to think the sponge is actually cursed. I checked the server files and thankfully the world was still there. Oh my god, thank god. So I downloaded a backup, switched the world back to its original one, and then decided to try and launch the world in single player. Okay, that literally just completely crashed my Minecraft and my computer. Everything's froze. Whatever the problem was in this world, it was big. Because it crashed my Minecraft as well, it had to be the world that was the issue. But what could that issue be? One thing I did notice was when I was building these water machines, I always noticed an FPS drop. And at the point where the world crashed, I had around 30 water machines moving at once. But how can I remove them when I get kicked almost instantly? Well, that was the key. The word almost. Before getting kicked, I had around four to five seconds where the server and game would run fine. So the plan would be get in, mine as many boxes as I can before I get kicked. It's doable. And that's what I did for three hours. And even and that did not fix our problem. So at this point, I was completely lost. If I can't work out how to overcome this problem, the entire video is ruined. I really didn't know what the issue could be. But then as I was looking over some of my B-roll footage, I noticed something. Wait a minute. Do you see that there? That has to be like thousands of pieces of sand just there floating. I'm sure that has the potential to completely crash my server. And I know for a fact I had a full inventory while I was breaking those sand walls as well. This meant only one thing. I'll have to go back into the server and try to collect up all of this sand. This will take me ages, but if it fixes my problem, it'll be worth it. So that's exactly what I did. All right, I've managed to fill up one of my inventory's worth and empty that off. And we go again. And after 12 whole journeys of this, of getting kicked, making my way over to the chest to unload all the sand, the lag had almost completely gone and I'd fixed this problem. We have just four rows to do now and then this ocean has been completely drained. I have to find a way to do this as quick as I can as it's been over a month since my last video. I came to the conclusion that I didn't want to risk using my machines. Instead, I chose to finish this ocean off manually. We've come so far now. I've drained so much ocean. I don't want to risk anything else. Let's just do this as quick as I can. I've managed to get rid of another row of sand just using the sponge. I do have to carry this furnace around me at all times to keep drying it off, which is fun. All right, we've got less than three rows to go. Coming up in a minute is that island that I destroyed. It doesn't really look like I made it any better. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've made things more difficult for myself. But despite this, I plowed on until I made it to the final row. This is the last row, the last strip of water. The sponge has done incredible. Surely nothing else would go wrong, right? I drained out that entire row, removed the sand, and I have now drained this entire 2.8 million block ocean using only one sponge. Hopefully, made you think of the sponge as a useful block in Minecraft. Please donate to TNCs if you can. You will make a difference.